guys, I'm Layla. Today we're going to be playing some Warcraft Rumble. And what we're going to be doing is it's Black Fathom Deep. So it also happens to be Beast Week. So we're going to run this dungeon with probably my favorite beast leader, who is going to be Merc Eye. And talk about my favorite beast leader. Today's video is also going to be a giveaway. So I want to thank Warcraft Rumble for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out the download link below. I'll have them both in the description and in the pinned comments. And thank you again, Warcraft Rumble and Blizzard, for sponsoring the giveaway as well, too. So what I'm going to do is three people are going to win 500 coins for Warcraft Rumble. And this is how you are going to enter. Is so I want you to drop me a comment down below and let me know which of these beast leaders is your favorite. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. You're also going to want to make sure that you're in my Discord. That way, if you win, I can give you guys your winnings, okay? So hopefully you guys have plenty of time to enter the giveaway. What I will do is I will draw the giveaway winners on Saturday the 17th. All right. So you guys can look forward to that down there. So once again, we're going to be running Black Bathroom Deep's Beast Week. And if you would like a chance to win 500 coins, this is what you're going to do. You're going to drop a comment down below, letting me know which of these beast leaders is your favorite. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and make sure you're in my Discord as well, too, because you're going to want to be in there for when you win. All right, so let's play. We're going to go with Merc Eye, and we're going to choose my relic. So we have Soul Seeds. This is on death. Your minis leave behind a flower that heals the first ally that touches it. You see it affects all of my minis. We have Auctioneer's Contract, which is only for my kobolds. And then we have Divine Parchment. Deploying your leader grants a shield to nearby allies, absorbing an attack. Hmm. Each gold you mine partially heals your towers and base. I guess we're going to go for the heal, and the reason for that is it's going to affect more of my minis, is what we're going to do. All right, so we're up against Gurgle Mergle. Let's play. Guys, what can I say? I mean, you shouldn't be surprised that old Merc is probably one of my favorites. You guys see how much I love Murlocs. I have Murlocs in my, uh, my background here as well, too. All right. What's been nice, too, is I've been doing a pretty good job upgrading old Merc eyes the um the different stats and the different slots for my armies right so i've been doing a really good job with that and that's what's great with running these dungeons is you get to do that as well too okay i think what we're probably gonna start with is let's let's get my gargoyle going Ooh, we'll get some dogs there we go all right but we're also going to want you know what we might do, actually, is I think... Uh, yeah, we'll probably go with... All right. Let's get the Murlocs. Are they not going to attack them? Well, that's not fair. They should have attacked them. Okay, fine. Do some chain lightning, and then let's... Uh, we're going to do my dragon, then. My dragon will. There we go. Look how much damage the gargoyle does. Gargoyle took that right down. All right, we got a kobold running here. Let's drop down Murkai. I do like whenever I drop tanks, if you guys see that I drop down my my core hounds, is I do like to have a flying mini, which is why we have the Drake going as well, too. Alright, so we are going to have to deal with this guy at our base. So we're going to have the core hounds do that. And then let's put some murlocs behind them. All right, so we had one one core hound popped right back up. Let's see if we can get my Chimera down. Kind of try to offer some support help out here against these Murlocs. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Let's have my Drake. Oh, look at these Murlocs. They're hitting my tower. How rude. Look at that. And the core hounds actually popped each other back up. So it looks like my Chimera is going right for the boss. Can Murkai hit him? Merc, I can't hit him, huh? But look at that, though. There's the little healing flowers. All right, we're probably going to have to do is we're just going to have to kind of try to push a bit because he's almost dead anyway here. Let's put the gargoyle down. And then what I want to do is I'm going to drop my Chimera face if I have to. But we have quite the army here, so we should be able to take it there. So we should be fine, even though we have the Murloc hitting right there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we cleared that. That ended up being okay. All right, old Murkai. Let's go. Okay. 
Kirk and Miracle! Claim reward. Thank you. Next relic. Looks like we've Militia Summons. Playing a cycle mini causes the next mini play to gain a level. So it only affects two minis there. Rich purple silk shirt. Your minis costing four or five gold. Deploy with a shield. Absorbs the first hit against them. Ooh, I like that. And then Windrunner Shroud. Your fast minis gain stealth. I think I'm actually going to go with the purple shirt because it's going to give me a shield for four of my minis. And Baron Aquanis. Let's go. Let's play. So right now we have three leaders for B. So it kind of seems like whenever we get our families, we get three leaders apiece roughly, right? Okay, so this green stuff, we're probably not going to want to walk in the green stuff. I'll keep that in mind for the minis that were deployed. Oh, we got a gargoyle. That's no good. Okay, so we're going to drop down my Chimera. Probably a dragon back here too. Ooh, look at that. My Chimera took out their dragon. That's pretty great. That gargoyle as well. Because the gargoyle just does so much damage. And we're going to have to take that tower. So we are going to have to drop a um, a ground mini to be able to take that. So we're actually going to do. Let's drop down my kobold so we can grab that gold. Let's go, Murkai. Oh, look at these shields. That's kind of cool, right? All right, we're going to have to deal with our face. So let's drop down... Oh, look at all the Murlocs! We're gonna drop down the Chimera. And we'll put down the Drake to help with this side as well, too. All right, Gargoyle and Drake are headed to Baron right there. Nice, Murlocs are good. And we're gonna drop down another Gargoyle. All right, we should have it. There we go. And we get a little bit of experience for the Drake. Perfect. All right, so we have one more boss to go. So I'm going to claim my rewards. And one more boss. So our relics are going to be ranged minis apply burn when dealing damage. There's going to be two of them. Worn Tome. Spells are cast three levels higher. And Arbor to units apply frost to melee attackers when hits. Hmm. That could be interesting because the gargoyle actually can't attack. But what happens when the gargoyle flies? There will be attacks at him. So frost to melee attackers when hit. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. He's not going to have melee, right? Armored units apply frost to melee attackers when hit. So that's actually not going to help him because he's going to be flying. So he's not going to have any melee attackers. So it seems like the only ones that will actually have anything are going to be the murlocs. So we'll, we'll go with that. Ooh, we get the three-headed Hydra. All right, let's go. I would have liked the one for the gargoyle if it wasn't just for the melee units. But because the gargoyle is a flying one, the melee isn't going to touch them. All right, let's play. Drop my Drake. All right, let's drop the core hounds, and then we're going to deal with this side in a minute. Okay. What we're probably going to do is I think I'm going to put my gargoyle with my Chimera behind him. Most likely. We're going to grab this. Oh, is my Drake down already? All right. And the Chimera. Nice. Moving along. All right. So let's get let's get some Murlocs headed this way. Try to help with these guys. Oh, no. We took out the core hounds. Okay. So here we have my Gargoyle and the Chimera. So if the Chimera is not hitting the Murloc, that'd be nice if they were. Okay. Hang on. So we're going to put down my Drake. And core hounds. Ooh, we have quite we have quite a group coming this way. But we did take down the Hydra on that side, which is great. So let me drop down Murkai. Okay, we should be able to take that stone. 
And then we're gonna put the gargoyle down. Okay, great. Oh, look at that, my Drake was turning around. Put the Chimera down. Let's do some chain lightning to help there. Great, the gargoyle took down the second tower here, which is good. Oh, they ended up re-grabbing that. Of course they did. All right, so we're going to have to put some minis down there. Shamir's catching up with the gargoyle. So let's drop down. We're going to put our core hounds down again. With our murlocs. Our murlocs will be able to take out the harpies. All right, is Mellow Kobold going to turn around? Oh, I wanted to turn around and grab that. He didn't. Okay, the Shamir did a pretty good job there. Let's drop down my Drake. These guys are okay here. We'll put another Gargoyle down. Alright, we're okay here. I drop my Chimera. And then let's put uh, let's put some Murlocs behind this guy. All right, so we got down the second Hydra head, and here we are. So we are up to the last three. We have to probably do Chain Lightning to clear out those Harpies. But here we go. So let's push. Put a Drake behind here. Chimera. And we are into overtime. All right, Gargoyle, go. So let's go. Let's push. Murkai. And then, all right, so we want some Murlocs. So we are into overtime now. We we'll probably need a little bit of help on that side. Or, well, let me see. Actually, we'll probably, yeah, we'll put the Drake here. Deal with this. This is fine. Gargoyle. So we really only have, there's one head left, so we should have it here. They shouldn't be able to. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to finish our tower since we're like right there. Perfect. And there it is. And cleared. And we get a little bit of XP for our chain lightning. All right. So let's see which army upgrade slots, like what I get now. So we'll claim my rewards. Oh, looks like old Merc is going to get an upgrade himself too. Okay. So let's upgrade... Let's see, I want to go tank. Ooh, I think we're going to go tank. I'm going to get gold on the tank slot. Nice, I'm actually really happy with that. Gold on the tank slot. Recombobulating. All right, so let me show you guys what old Merc Eyes deck currently looks like so here we are so that means that right now my core hounds are in the gold slot right there and honestly i think i messed this up i thought this was the next one up but i grabbed bronze instead of silver oops so i think you can actually go in and you can change the upgrade two slots replace starting army upgrades can't be modified oh all right so i actually can't fix that i have to fix one of these so at least maybe learn from the mistake that i just made here is I thought this was the next one, but I actually went down from silver to bronze. But I did get the upgrade here for the core hounds, which is great. So I'm happy with that. So once again, I do want to thank Warcraft Rumble for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I'll have a download link below in both the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you guys download, have some fun with the game as well too. And don't forget about the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be going on. And to enter, I want you guys to drop me a comment down below on who your favorite beast leader is. You have three options here. All right, there's your three options. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and make sure you join my Discord as well, too, for when you win. So good luck. I'd love to know how you guys are enjoying Dungeons and Beast Leaders, and thanks for watching.